Hi, I'm Maggie Holmes and I'm here at scrapbook.com and I am going to share my new collection with you today. It's called Flourish and I am super excited. It is just brand new and we're gonna start with the papers. So I'll go through all of the papers first and show you each of them. This is one of my favorite florals from the collection. There are a lot of florals in this one and it's because I do love florals. I think everybody knows that but we just went a little bit extra on the florals this time. And so this is a favorite, a nice peachy stripe on the back. I love this one, it has a lot of texture. It has a marble feel to it, but with some pretty colors in there. And on the back, a nice geometric pattern. We did bring a lot of botanical florals into this one. And so you'll see those intermixed with the more colorful ones. On the back of this is a nice scallop with a little leaves. A couple of new icons. I always love to have birds, but we did a quill this time and he is just super cute and colorful and I love him. And a pretty pink on the back. I absolutely love uh, working with tickets and um, vintage ephemera. So this is a really fun ticket page. I like to cut it all out. You could use big chunks of it or cut out each little strip of tickets. And on the back, a nice warm wood. Another new uh, animal or bird for this one is the peacock. I am loving peacocks and this one is super pretty and kind of has the botanical feel with the flowers and just a white uh, brick pattern for some texture. You can use this as a background. Here's another version of a floral. We did bring a lot of darker, um, more saturated colors into this collection. It really makes it rich and just kind of brings a different um, feel from the last collection I did. And so you'll see some blacks popping through and this dark blue, which I'm loving. And there's that blue again that works really well uh, with all the florals or for boy pages too. This is pretty leaves. And I love the texture on this one. It's painted kind of an ombre working down from pink to green. And then we have kind of the botanical feel of the bugs and butterflies, but then we modernize them by um, really adding some bright fun colors. And on the back, a nice uh, black and white, kind of a stripe, but a polka dot as well. More of those vintage, botanical. You'll see a lot of vintage inspired things in this collection, which is something that I adore. Another gorgeous floral. This one is definitely a favorite. It has a peachy background. And a ledger, which is just a great basic. A pretty tone-on-tone uh, -tone pattern and hearts. This one is another favorite. I am probably going to say favorite a lot of times, but I do have so many favorites from this collection. I absolutely love the lemons and it has a little floral and I just love that pop of yellow. And a fun pattern on the back. Another favorite. I love this blue and um, this one turned out so pretty and yellow, which again works great with all the florals or for boy pages. So you'll see um, some paint by number pieces in this collection. I absolutely love um, thrifting and when I find vintage paint by number artwork, I just absolutely love it. And so we created some of our own um, paint by number papers and patterns for this collection. And so it kind of has that vintage feel, but I love the dark, rich, saturated colors, which um, keeps it modern and up to date. And I just am going to frame this piece. So great for scrapbooking, but a cute little art piece as well. Just get a 12 by 12 frame and frame that and hang it in your home. And then what's super cool is on the back, you can see we did the same design, but we left it um, without all the colors in. So you could actually get paint or watercolors or colored pencils and you could fill this in and do it yourself. Here's another beautiful floral and a cute basic polka dot. Some more of that botanical feel that I talked about with the flowers and the lemons, strawberries. Those are really cute and sweet. 
This one has um, sort of botanical feel again, but with some fun colors and kind of like they're taped up on the wall, little flowers drying out. I love ephemera and pieces that you can use for journaling. And so that's what this page is designed for. Uh, you can just cut out each of these individually. And we put a couple of little quotes on a few of them, but then left most of them blank so that you can add in whatever you want. Cameras are always a great basic, and I love the black feel of this. This is another uh, really favorite paper of mine. I love the vintage prints of the butterflies like this. And so we took that and then we kind of put a modern fresh twist on it by putting it on an angle. So it kind of has a stripe angular feel to it. And this is just really fun. I love that one. Houses, uh, houses are a great basic icon you can use for a lot of things and we just use all the colors. So this is a fun one you can use as a big piece or cut up the little houses individually. Good stripe on the back. This one was sort of, um, my direction for this was sort of the peacock inspiration. So it has a scallop feel to it, but you can kind of see, if you look closely, it kind of feels like the peacock feathers there. So that turned out fun. More of the vintage floral uh, books. Just scanned those in and made a fun pattern. This one has the hummingbird. So like I said, there's some new birds in this collection, which are fun and unique. And we, so we created a pretty floral with the hummingbird. And a pretty background. Two specialty papers for Flourish. And the first one is a transparency. So show it with this, it comes with this piece behind it. So it has that feel, but then it also is, has the transparent feel. And it has all those vintage florals and the butterflies and book paper. So here is the other specialty paper. This is a vellum and it has one of the floral patterns and it's in rose gold. So you'll see some pops of this rose gold metallic finish in Flourish and you'll also still see the regular gold that I normally use. And in case that scares you a little bit, it's definitely okay to mix your metals and your finishes. And the rose gold just adds a nice warm kind of a pinkish tone and the other traditional yellow gold works really well with it. And finally, one of my favorite papers from every collection is the cutout paper. And you can see I've already cut into this one and I didn't have a brand new one to show you, but this is just the cutout paper that you can cut each of these out and use on cards or mini albums. And it has just some of the fun art and pieces. This is that hummingbird paper, but in a different colorway. And the lemons, but on a black background. And then the back side of this is another one of the Paint My Numbers. And I'll show you this. Um, this is two swans. You can't kind of see it now because it's cut out, but I'll show you that later. It's on some other pieces in the products. And don't forget, there's the 12 by 12 paper pad, which you can grab if you're wanting a lot of these. And there is also the six by six, which is so great for mini albums. I love in the six by six that the patterns are shrunk down. And so you get a lot of these really pretty florals and um, like this one is really cute in the six by six because it's smaller. And so that's one thing that I'm always, I kind of forget. And then when I get the pad, I get excited again because it feels like a whole new paper sometimes when it's shrunk down to that tiny, cute little size. One thing that I am super excited to share with you for this collection that we've never done before is an extra paper pad. And at first glance, you might think that it's the same as the 12 by 12 or the six by six, but just in a different size, but it's definitely not the same. So I want to show you this. It is an extra paper pad and it is six by eight in size. And we did that because it's great for making cards. You just grab a sheet and these, um, they're perforated at the top so you can pull it out and you just fold it right in half and it makes the perfect uh, card size. But it's also great for mini albums and of course layering on your regular 12 by 12 pages. But what's so unique about this pad is that when we were designing this collection, um, I mentioned that we did a lot of florals and 
when we're working through things, a lot of times I will, will try the different florals in a lot of different colorways. And sometimes it's hard to choose and other times the perfect one just jumps out and we know which one is our favorite. But this time I had so many that I was loving and it was really hard to cut them out. And so I asked if they would let me do an extra pad so that we could do some of those other color versions. So these are unique. For example, this is one of the florals that I already showed you, but it's in a whole different uh, color scheme. This one is on craft. This one is the same, but smaller. This is that leaf pattern that I showed you, but it has gold foil and it's on black. And I am just gonna have to show you all these because I love them so much. This is the floral, but a little bit smaller and different colors. There's that one. The lemons, I was loving this version as well with the black background. It's kind of moody and has um, more of that other, that rich feel compared to the brighter one in 12 by 12. And we took the little pink flowers out. This one is the black and white from the regular paper, but it's pink with the gold foil. I love, love, love this one. And again, it didn't make it to the 12 by 12, but I was so excited that we got to put it in here with that pretty blue background and pink flowers. And here's those vintage flowers on craft. This one is just so sweet with the mint background and kind of some orange coming through on those flowers. And as you're noticing, these are um, all flowers. So it's kind of a floral uh, paper pad to go with the collection. And this is just a really pretty gold foil line pattern. Pink flowers there. This one again, you might not even recognize it from the 12 by 12 because it's a whole different colorway, which is so fun. And here's a sweet little flower on yellow. This one I love, if you remember, it was uh, green with black on the 12 by 12, but it was so pretty with white and then the gold foil in those lines. And those peacocks that I was loving and just a different version here. The blue floral, but just shrunk down quite a bit. I was loving this floral. And the uh, paper with the hummingbirds. So this is a completely different version gold foil. I just love these specialty finishes. And again, that one with a whole different background. This one's the same. That one's one of my favorites. And then there's this one. Just so many unique and different papers here. And of course, this one, again, with the black background has such a different feel to it. So I really hope you guys love this uh, little pad as much as I do. I am just already hoarding these and I want a million of them because there's 24 unique sheets. That they're not repeated. And so if you're loving it, you might want to snatch up five or six of these because once you use one sheet, it's gone. So love, love, love this. It's definitely a favorite and I hope you love it too. Okay, now I am super excited to share all of the rest of the products in Flourish with you and all of the fun embellishments. So we'll start with the chipboard. The chipboard is one of my favorite products, of course, that we have every time in every collection. And the reason I love it so much is because we can just put so many of the cute art pieces on here and it's just bright and colorful. We have the houses, this great, beautiful peacock, the quill. I like to put some of the new things on the chipboard and some of the highlights for the collection. So I feel like you get an overall feel of what all the products are going to be like when you look at the chipboard. The cute camera, the deer. So you will see a lot of little animals coming through and more later on. And then again, a lot of these floral pieces, the lemon, some leaves, even this heart has the pretty floral pattern. And over here, and this little quote piece is one that I love. It says, all things grow with love. Remember this cute little flower truck. And down here, I wanted to point out this little guy. It's the hummingbird, but it has the paint by number feel to it. So that one is really pretty and fun. All right, moving on to the stickers. Another great uh, product where we can just put a lot of the cute art. This is a peacock, but it's different than the other one. So that is cute. 
Uh, we have some pretty scripted words on here. The sunshine, joyful heart, grateful. The little bunny is a different icon and it's really sweet. And the squirrel, and I just love him. He is so cute. Little piece with a bike up here. Let me point out a couple other favorites, some more houses. I love to just layer and um, put the chipboard and the sticker houses kind of all in a row. Uh, some of these little botanical floral pieces are pretty and these little animals in the lemon, they are look like postage stamps. Okay, moving on. I probably, again, will say favorite a lot, but this is one of my favorite products. So we, I'm gonna grab this one over here too. We always do the ephemera pack, which everybody loves, and it's one of my favorites always. We put a lot of tags, and I'll show you a little more of that later. But first, I'm gonna show you, we have two ephemera packs for Flourish. And again, that's because there were just so many flower pieces and things that I was loving. And in the regular ephemera pack, we would only be able to put a couple. And so we were able to do an extra ephemera pack and this one is all leaves and butterflies and botanicals. So it comes like this and I've already opened it up so I can quickly show you here. These are actually that um, metallic fabric and they have wire in them, they're leaves. And so when you layer them, you can kind of bend them up and glue them down and they give a lot of dimension to your project. So I like to take a piece like this and then add a couple of those little leaves layered in there behind it. Then there are, I'm just gonna kinda spread these out so you can see there's vellum pieces, there's gold foiled pieces. There's a bunch that already have the leaves on. This is a beautiful one there. And then there's also some flowers that don't have the leaves so that you can take those gold leaves and then other pieces like this one and build your own. So I'm gonna slide that over and we'll take a look at the regular ephemera pack. So this one has some fun vellum as well. Has a lot of the traditional ephemera pieces that I love. There's that uh, paint by number hummingbird but in a whole different color way. Little journaling pieces and labels. There are a lot of tags. Just love all of these pieces. I grab my ephemera packs for almost every project that I do, whether it's for gift wrap or cards or mini albums, banners, you name it. I mean, they just, there's always something in the ephemera pack that I'm gonna wanna use. There's butterflies on vellum, this little flower shop, kind of like a house, but it's a flower shop, super cute. Oh, this one I love, it's the swans on vellum. Next up, we're gonna talk about the washi tape. So we've got a set of eight washi tapes of various widths, and I've already got them out. I love to store them in a little glass dish like this, because they also look pretty, even when you're not using them. Um, we have rose gold floral there, this pretty floral, and I just love the detail on that. Even though it's little, it came out so well. That blue floral, cute little pink polka dot. This one's fun. I love to add little words and captions to things, and this one is black, and it has three sayings on it. Forever is made of moments like this, and you can just tear it. Next one is, you are loved, and then grow your own joy. So those are really cute. And a couple more, we've got some leaves. I love to just kind of layer these and kind of rip it off wherever you want. And the wood grain, it's really pretty. And finally, we have the lemons on the black background like I showed you in the 6x8 pad and yeah, super cute. Next up we're going to talk about the thickers. We have three sets of thickers in Flourish. The first one is really pretty. It is uh, sort of the botanical fill with the leaves and little flowers. Really, really pretty. I love how this one turned out. So that one's definitely unique. This one, we have that rose gold that I was talking about, and we've got the upper and lower case. Just a great basic 
typewriter filling. And finally, this is my one of my favorite products. I wasn't expecting to love this product as much as I do. And so I wanna talk a little bit about this one. So it's the yellow gold and it's uh, the metallic foil and it's puffy is the, um, the material, but it is super thin and so there's a lot of detail and it's flexible, which is fun. So I'm gonna show you on these frames, once you pull it off, you can kind of shape it a little bit within reason, of course, but you can kind of play with that to make it exactly how you want. So I like to take these little frames and you can put them right over a photo and kind of add that little framed detail. It has lots of phrases and these are the pretty script and then some of this cute one here and just lots of hearts, which are a great basic. And again, like I said, I'm absolutely loving this. It just is that little touch of extra special something that makes every project kind of have that finished feel. And I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm loving these and I really hope that you love them too. I think you will. So moving along, we're gonna pull down a few more things here. This one, here's four sheets. These are one product, it's four sheets of stickers. And I just love tiny little alphabets. So we've got two different ones here. We have the gold metallic and then the little uh, uppercase that's a little more decorative. And then as you probably know, I love the tiny words and I love labels. I put them on everything, I can't ever get enough. And so we have rose gold and yellow gold, all mixes together. What's great about these is you can just grab a label and grab a little phrase stick it on, put it on your page or your card, and it's just done and ready to go. I love the colors on these ones, and then these are a little more basic, but you can mix them all up. Next up is another uh, sticker. These are so fun. They're puffy, and they're also embossed. So they have quite a lot of great texture to them that might be hard to see until you get it and kind of play with it, but these, are flexible, they're sticky on the back, but they're just puffy and cute. There's our cute quail and lemons. Here are the standouts. We've got a lot of fun textures and different materials going on here. We've got glitter. This beautiful day is already stitched and layered. These, I just love how they turned out. They have the real wire pips. These are called pips, if you're not familiar. And so you can kind of bend and shape those. We have three different butterflies there. This has the pips in the flower and it's crepe paper kind of layered. This one is so fun. It's a little wooden dowel with the banner flags hanging off of it. And then these are actual tissue paper, little fringy pieces that are stitched. Cute to layer and make banners with. Another thing that is super fun is the little bird embroidery patch. So embroidery patches are everywhere right now. Everyone's loving them. This one is sticky already on the back, so you can just pull it up and plop it on something, or you could take the sticky part off and you could put it on a bag or a jacket or a backpack or something. I have a lot of friends that don't even scrapbook and they want this because they wanna put it on something else. So I love that. Next up, we have these tiny little tassels. I did tiny tassels a while back and everybody loved them. I loved them. They're gold, just great to tie onto anything, a card, a journaling page in a planner, whatever you have, or packaging. And we did some darker colors to go with Flourish for those. Couple more products. Uh, this one is a trim and there's five yards of it, so you get quite a bit. And I'm actually gonna pull it off of the card so you can see, because when it's in the package, you can't really see how beautiful it is. But when you pull it out, it's gold metallic, but it's uh, like a trim fabric ribbon. And it's kind of stitched and embossed, and so it's just really pretty to put on so many different things. And lots of ways you can use that, tie it around a package just really pretty. And finally, we have some wood veneer frames. These, I was so excited when we got back because sometimes we're not sure how things will come back and I knew we had a lot of detail in these frames. Um, 
that was going to be etched and burnt in, but the detail just turned out so beautifully. It's just so intricate on those patterns in here. And I just love the feel of the warm wood contrasting against, you know, some of those other bright fun colors in the collection, the yellows and the pinks. And I'm loving working with these. So thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for a little bit so that I can show you all the details and all of my favorite things in the Flourish collection. I am so excited about it and I'm super excited for you to get it too and I hope you love it as much as I do. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting!